There are two types of research categories, primary and secondary. Primary research is exclusive data that comes directly from a respondent. Secondary research is already available to everybody through information sources such as libraries or the internet. What do you mean? It's free. Well, anyone can get on their computer and look up this information. Or they can do the legwork, and go to the library or another source. Anybody can get on the computer to find it. They can. This free information on the internet is usually quantitative data. The truly valuable information is not always in the form of numbers, is it? It's in the form of words, not numbers, and that's called qualitative data. The customers give their opinions, so the data comes in the forms of keyword groups. How do they crunch the numbers if there aren't numbers? Later this qualitative data can be converted to quantitative data for analysis purposes. Sometimes it's not possible. But the data is still very valuable. Do the respondents always give good primary data? It's always possible someone gives answers that aren't valuable. What motivates a respondent to answer questions at all? Marketing companies will pay respondents to answer questions. The respondent could be invited for another phase of research, or the research team could choose to dismiss the respondent. Sounds like easy money. How much do they get paid? It really depends, but it has to motivate participants, so maybe at least $50 or $100 to start. And there could be more money if they go on. 50 bucks to answer a few questions. Count. Me. In. Professional respondents do exist. They do. What do you mean? You know. People who earn lots of money chasing participant opportunities. Some of them even like to continue and get more money. Marketing companies know that, and try to avoid them. I'll take my chances. What have I got to lose? I'm going to be a professional respondent.